Chicken Man here. Once again, with the modifications to my rifle. I had to redo the scope cam because it had came loose and it was all broken up. Used a substantial amount of hot glue to keep it together and tape. But there it is. This is the zoom on it, full zoom. That's that little bottle over there, the little tiny bottle. This is how big it looks on the screen. And far away, I zoom it out, as you can see, all the way out. There it is. You still get a nice clear picture of it. And I added a high beam ultraviolet light flashlight, which is pretty expensive. It was on the $120 range for this flashlight. But it's ridiculous. As you can see, it has a flash strobe light. Fast, slow, and there's the beam. Look how bright it is now. If I zoom it in, you can see how bright it looks. That's completely zoomed in. It's bright and clear. And as you can see, look, there it is. And this vacuum is on there. It's detachable. As you can see, I could take it off, use it in my hand. No, but you just vacuum it back, and there it is. Point it to wherever you want it. And there you have it. That's the total modifications for now. And uh, once I'm done with it, it'll look a little bit better. You can see it's the Gamma Wacky Whisper. 177. I also did the same modification for 22. And there it is. That's what the cam scope cam looks like. It's nicely wrapped up. As you can see. This is what the whole thing looks like from far. Excuse the mess. We're doing laundry. Got the original scope on it. Gamo. With the original gamo scope on it. As you can see, it came with it. It's pretty good. And there it is. All cleaned up and hooked up together. Got a little, do a little bit more work on a flashlight holder. So it can hold up a little bit better. That Velcro is really not doing nothing. But it allows me to break the barrel and cock the gun. So that's what's good about it. Okay, guys, that's it for now. If you like this video, just leave me a couple comments in the comment section if you want more videos or modifications. Chicken Man out.